Hello, this is James Virtual, and today I want to show you how to take a PowerPoint presentation and turn it into a video that you can share online. So, first of all, um, we're going to start with PowerPoint. So, start up your PowerPoint application. This is, um, I think this is PowerPoint 2016. I'm going to just create a blank presentation for the purposes of this demonstration. Nothing too complicated. Uh, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write my name. Oops, that's not my name. That's my name. And we're going to create another slide. And we will say um, my name again, because we're keeping this easy. And we'll install some Lipsum. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll create another slide. And we'll just call this slide two. I don't need more than these these numbers of slides. So the whole idea is um, <clears throat> if you had uh, your slide deck put together. So there's slide one, there's slide two. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's make this cool at slide one so you guys can see. So there's slide title, slide one, slide two. So now that you've got your slide presentation, here's how you turn it into a video. Uh, you go up to slideshow, you see this button that says record slideshow, click it. Now what's happening is I'm talking and it's actually recording this slide and anything I choose to say at this point will be recorded, blah blah blah. Then as I move on to the next slide, so we're now on slide one, blah 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 um, and so on and so forth. Now something to note, Microsoft records the audio on a slide-by-slide -slide basis, so although I'm doing this in one take right now, and here's slide two, and in this slide, you know, waffle, waffle, etc., etc., teach, 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 but what Microsoft does is it records the audio on a slide-by-slide -slide basis, so if later on I choose to go back and record, say, slide one again, I don't actually have to re-record the entire presentation, so that's something to note. When you're done, end the show. The total time is 48 seconds, hit yes. So what now happens is um, these slides, if you look underneath, it says 14, 12, and 21. These slides now have individual timings. So if I was to hit playback, what you'll hear is um, it's actually going to play back, and then it's going to naturally move from slide to slide with me chatting over the top. So I'm here. Now what's happening is so you I'm should be uh, hearing me talking over it's top actually of me, recording which is kind of annoying, this I'm slide. Sure. And anything I choose to say, somewhere around 14 seconds, point will switch. be recorded. Blah blah blah. Then as I move on to the next slide, da, 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 so we're now on see? slide one. And blah blah so blah. So blah, I'm pressing blah. escape. So that was that. Now what's cool is it's recorded the your words and your trans um, uh, your, your sort of transitions from slide to slide. So what you do now is you go to file. You go to export, come down here, file format, choose MP4 or MOV. MP4 is preferable, that's the web friendly version. Make sure this button is checked. Make sure this is presentation quality, which is the, the highest because we want a video. Leave it at the maximum settings. This says that if there are any slides that you didn't narrate, what's the default timing? You can leave that at five seconds or drop it to one second or three seconds, whatever. All of mine had timing anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Then you hit export. And what that will do, if you look along the bottom here, it says PowerPoint is converting and uploading. And of course, I didn't really change the name of mine, so it's going to create a, a, a movie called presentation onemp 4 and it's going to save it to my desktop, if I remember correctly. And there it is. It's currently converting it. Let's go back to PowerPoint. By the way, you can see I'm running this on a Mac, so it might be slightly different on a PC, but the same idea stands true. You create your presentation, so you write it, or use one that you've already written, and you go in and you record over the top. You narrate, okay, you look for narrating, and you click the little red button. Uh, now on a PC, um, there might be a slightly different layout, but the, the, the idea is this. You record your narration, but make sure you click the record button. And then when you're done, you go to X file, and you go to export, and you spit it out as an MP4, and as you can see, this is this is chugging along, almost done. 
And what will happen is, well, you can see, oh, finished. We're going to have a little video here that will be running on, oops, I made it too small. It's not running for real. There we go. So there's a video and I'm talking over the top of it now, so I'm disabling the audio. So now that's a video, which you could throw up on YouTube, you could put into a training school, um, like the one that uh, you, know, you have in front of you, you could put it on Facebook, you could, um, you could live stream, you can do all manner of things now, it's a video, okay? So that's how you do it, and by the way, um, here's the, uh, let me see if I've got the right help guide, there it is, and here's the... Uh, the help from Microsoft, which I printed out, so I'm going to include that with it. And what's this one? Ah, there we go. That's how to record. So these two documents also explain how to do it. All right. So that's that. Pretty simple, really. My name is James Birchall, and I uh, hope you are having a fantastic day.